Hi everyone, so I've got another haul for you today. As usual, I will have timestamps in the description box below so you can skip around and watch whatever shops you would like. Um, I am going to start off with the washi part of the haul. So I have a rather big order from Simply Gilded. It's my first big one in a while because it was her Black Friday sale and she also had a lot of new releases. So because it was a Black Friday sale, she also included some freebies. So here we have a whole sheet of Jasper the Bear and Friends um, seals. So these are foiled seals, rose gold foiled. They are really cute. So these would be great for using on like holiday cards or envelopes so that's what I'm probably going to use them for and then of course you get your usual freebie which is one of her classic bow seals and this one is in kind of a buffalo plaid with a gold foil and I love this journaling card that came with it too it says joy to the world in gold foil with a pretty reindeer over some buffalo plaid so that's really gorgeous I love her holiday journaling cards like this one I got in the last order. Happy holidays. Just so pretty and simple. I like just displaying these on my um, on my washi drawers just so I can look at. And she also included a wonton and a million freebie. I think it varied depending on, you know, she put random freebies in different orders. So I got the notepad. Um, I am not going to be keeping this so I'm not going to open it for you. I'm probably going to give it away because I don't really use notepads a lot and this seems like a really nice item that somebody else might enjoy having more. So I am just going to put that off to the side to give away later. And now for the actual washi. So I'm going to start with the 5mm of which I got plenty. So the only normal bows I got were these three. She had a rainbow release so these are all kind of rainbow themed. So we have this one, which is just rainbow foil, all the colors of the rainbow as the foil background, and then there are white bows on there. So that is really gorgeous. It's going to go with a lot of rainbow kits, of which there are not too many, but um, still I'm looking forward to trying to find where I can use that. Same with this. This is a white background, and the bows are all the rainbow foils. So that is also really gorgeous. Um, and then here we have the opposite of that, so it's black with the rainbow foil. Rainbow foil bows. So I love all of these. And next I got all of the perforated tapes that have been released so far. These are I think 6mm instead of 5mm. Yes, as you can see they are 1mm taller. So they're like between um, between the 5mm and the 7mm. So if you can see me moving the camera, it's because I'm trying to grab a 7mm to show you. This is the Blurple color. And yeah, as you can see, it is one bigger than that as well. So we have all the three sizes right here from 5 to 6 to 7. And you can't really tell because it's really hard to hold it so you can see the one millimeter difference, but it's there. So that's really cool. So six millimeter is, I guess, a little closer to the standard header size, and that is what these are supposed to be. They are perforated to 1.5 inches, which is the width of an Erin Condren full box, and obviously the width of a header too. So it's just a classic simple line with one bow right in the middle. And there is the perforation mark right there. I'm not going to rip it off because I don't want to waste one, but you can obviously see the design and what it's meant to be used for. So that is a super cool idea, and I love that she did this. I'm still waiting for her to get into the foil overlay game, but this is one step closer to that. So I am psyched about that. It looks like this little guy escaped. This is actually not perforated. This... Oh yeah, I guess I just put it on that stack by accident. I already showed it to you. Anyway, so this little collection here are the perforated tapes that are solid black with all three, well, there would be four typically, but with the classic three foil colors, so gold, silver, and rose gold in the middle. Her rose gold is pretty coppery, if you can see that there. So a nice classic versions there. I would enjoy having white as a background with those three colors too. I'm assuming that will come at a later date. But we do have the white and gold at least, and the pink with gold too. 
So these two were their own release as well. And then the Christmas version of those. So we have the classic red and green with gold foil, which is very Christmassy, and I love it. So that is all of the five millimeter washi that I got and I got several bigger ones as well. So this is the odd one out kind of, this is the kind of um, tree branch design with birds and I guess leaves and probably some flowers on the tree branches as well. This is kind of a different version of a design that she's done before in I think a pink colorway, yeah. So I'm gonna try and grab it for you. I should have been more prepared in having these out already. But um, she did have the old version on a Mystery Monday, which um, was just kind of, if you're not familiar with that, she brings back old older tape designs that are no longer in the shop. They're kind of discontinued. She has like some back stock obviously, so she will add them into the shop at a discount for Mystery Monday, but that is obviously final stock. So I was really pleased to be able to get this one. This is the original design, which is pink and rose gold over the top. So this is, the bottom one is the same design as you can see, but it is black with a gold foil over that. I just think it's the prettiest design ever. Um, I don't know why I think it's so gorgeous, but I just do. So now I have both colors of that. So, Next, we have a blue design. This is part of her, I think, Hanukkah release. She had a lot of different pretty shades of blue um, and kind of different styles of blue tapes. I just chose the most classic one that I liked. Um, I do have a, I do have a few blues. I think, well, a few. I have a couple just solid blues. These are the solid blues that I have. So I have a darker blue with rose gold, a coppery rose gold, and that is meant to be the Ravenclaw one. And then I have this one from the 4th of July release with silver. And this is kind of close to that, but obviously not the exact shade of blue. It's a lot lighter. Um, and it does also have sil silver. So I got this one because it was probably, um, probably the only one that I still needed that wasn't too close to one I already had in my collection. So just a lighter blue with silver foil in both sizes. And next for the rainbow release, she obviously included bigger versions of her rainbow tapes. So I got the two sets, which is the rainbow foil background one with white bows in both sizes and the black background with rainbow bows in both sizes. I realized I haven't rolled one of these out for you, except for I think one of the perforated headers. So let me just kind of show you that. These are really nice and opaque for washi and they do look absolutely gorgeous with the solid foil in the 15 millimeter. So that's kind of the whole design right there. It is super pretty, it's still very thin. Looks like I had like glitter on there from something because there's like glitter on the tape. I have no idea. Oh, you know what? I think it's peeling off foil because look at that. It's like all spotted now. So that is definitely something she's going to have to pay attention to because that seems like a defect to me. Obviously, you know, it's still a perfectly usable tape, but that kind of ghosting, it's not even like actual ghosting. It's like just lifting off so that's you know kind of a big problem so she'll have to look into that but that is my order from simply gilded i still love all the tapes and we'll use them at some point hopefully so next we have the rose color days sub box if you do not want to be spoiled for um i think this is december's box if you don't want to be spoiled then you can skip this part so this is a fireworks theme because we did um, kind of a Christmas box in the last one for November. I think this is meant to be kind of a New Year's type thing, if I'm not mistaken. So it is a sparkly hollow kind of fireworks box going on here. Here is her one of her business card versions. 
here are the very cool here are the journaling cards so you have this frame one with little sparklers in the corner and then the january calendar one if i can lift it up with fireworks at the top and then the january calendar at the bottom and then you get two sheets of stickers so they are both deco this is bigger deco probably more like full box overlay deco it is clear despite being on white paper and so these are just like fireworks designs and then here are even smaller versions of those little bursts of fireworks right here so that's nice deco and then here are the tapes so i'm going to start with the full box tapes so this one looks like it is just fireworks and for some reason it is opening to the left okay so maybe it's just sparklers no it looks like it's a variable one so yeah there's sparklers for or a sparkler for one box fireworks in the corner for another box fireworks across the whole top for the third design and that is it so that's all three designs that you get on that this hollow um sparkly hollow color is really gorgeous and i love that so that is one full box overlay design and this one looks like it's got more frames in it so let me peel this one to show you or rather unroll if you will oh we got a rounded corner border for this one which is really cool so it's nice and plain so it could be used for any time i think this next one could be also this bolder squared off one yes so both of these borders can be used for any time this one has the um has the sparklers in the bottom corner of the border and then it just repeats so you have three designs on each of these rolls so that's very cool six designs total so those are the full box designs and then we get into the smaller ones so this one is i think the bottom washi overlay for the entire bottom washi if you are not splitting it or even if you are splitting it you could still use this and i believe this is just fireworks so this could obviously be used for new year's or fourth of july or just any celebration type event if you're going to disney and there's fireworks you know there you go obviously it's going to depend on what foil you're using too and if sparkly hollow is going to go with the kit these are perforated by the way um so i will not be using this for new year's for this year because i already have a kit picked out and i have gold fireworks gold foiled fireworks stickers that i'm already going to use for that but um i'll definitely save these for some other celebration type event for which i'm using hollow foil you know um skill repents co has a hollow party kit that's like kind of like a birthday party themed but it could be used for i think many kinds of parties and it is hollow so you could use these with that kit as well that's just kind of an idea i'm throwing out there i do want to pick up that kit so i may put these together with that so this is the what in the devil i think this is 15 millimeter washi overlays but it is perforated every two fireworks every two designs so like after these two it's perforated so i think it's meant so you can kind of choose your own width just however long of a strip of 15 millimeter washi you're using or i think it might be perforated at 1.5 inches if I'm not mistaken quick find me a full box so I can test that out without spoiling it too much yeah it does look like it's perforated at 1.5 inches so you can use it also over a full box just at the normal perforation so that's kind of cool for that options love options so 
so now let's get into the tiny tapes. So this is the um, header overlay tape. The end is doing a very good job at evading me. There we go, I found it. So I'm guessing this is just the fireworks design again in miniature. No, this is not the header overlay tape, this is the checklist tape. So this is little tiny fireworks designs, but there is a hole in the middle of them because it is meant to be used as a checklist, obviously. I'm probably just gonna use this as deco like I will do with the other ones that I have. It is perforated after every single firework, so you can rip off however long a checklist you want or just rip off them individually to use as deco. And now this one must be the header overlays. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, these are the, um, the little fireworks designs, but full versions without holes in the middle. So that is four headers. So that is the entire Rose Claire Days Jan December subbox. I keep wanting to say January because this feels like some it feels like more of a January color scheme, and November's felt like more of a December color scheme. But obviously, she is thinking one month ahead with these boxes, so you can be prepared for your pre-planning. Even though I'm five months behind post-planning, so it's a little bit different. I don't need to be so prepared. Anyway. That is it for the washi part of this haul. And now we can get into the kits that I have. All right, so I'm gonna start, I'm um, gonna go from small to large in terms of order size here. So I have this tiny order from Frenchie Mom Boutique. It comes with some nice foil, so I'll just show that to you. It's in its own little cello because it's special. These are really pretty hollow snowflakes. Oh God, those are, so rainbowy. That is just intense. I love these so, so, so much. I didn't even know Frenchie Mom Boutique did foil, but I guess she does. Um, I actually have ordered from her once before. I ordered a Cinderella kit that I just could not resist, but this one had been sitting in my wish list since then and I think she had a Black Friday sale. So I was like, well, now is my opportunity to buy it. So these are like the only two kits that I ever wanted from her. And now I've picked them both up. So I still will be keeping an eye on her shop just in case. But um, I don't know why the full box page is second to last. It's a really random place for it. But I just I love both of the kits that I got from her. So oh man, this is Hello Autumn. And just look at this color scheme. Is this not the most beautiful combination of colors ever? This teal and orange. I'm just obsessed with this. This is probably one of my most favorite fall kits ever. Oh man. I just, I can't stop looking at this and it's a really beautiful fo photo kit. Obviously these photos were all part of one collection, I think. Otherwise she just color edited it really well, recolored it rather. But um, you got the little puppy, which is so cute. The pumpkins in the back of the truck, the teal pumpkin. Um, that is I think pumpkin pie in a really pretty serving dish, leaf, acorns, stockings, and then like a blanket. Oh man, this, that's just so gorgeous. I can't stop looking at this. It's the color scheme that really drew me into this kit. If it had a different color scheme, I don't even know if I would get it. I, obviously I love the photos and the way they're put together, but the color scheme made me want it right away. So um, here's this page. Very similar to Scribble Prints Co. I'm seeing, which I love, although the movie marquee is a lot bigger, which I definitely love more. That's a fun weekend banner, haven't seen that. So many boxes for this page, I love. This is gonna be perfect for some white space. Got all of your other functionals here. Some checklists. I did get, obviously, the ultimate, the biggest size of kit. Some little things and more boxes. Yeah, this is gonna be perfect for some white space. Here you have washi, which is just sliced up full boxes. And then headers, so many headers too. And then bottom washi, which is these pretty pumpkins and gorgeous date covers, which is pumpkins with like some white out design in there, which I think is the coolest thing and so unique. And the alternating colors for the fonts. And then a ninth full box, which is the pumpkins. So yeah, that is like the ultimate 
kit and then there's extras too which is even better so glitter headers obviously you have to get those um and then this extra big box which is like a kind of cabin in the woods kind of scene with like pretty fall leaves so that is gorgeous have to use that and then this extra sampler here that does go with the kit as well so that's really thoughtful and then a tiny little thanksgiving box that she just threw in in case you wanted to use this for thanksgiving week oh man so thoughtful i'm loving every part of this and i cannot wait to use it i don't know when i'm going to use it but i really do need a lot more fall kits because i don't have a ton so that is excellent it's so beautiful and i love this sheet too so i am super psyched about that so oh yeah i forgot to mention in my simply gilded order that i had this um this note that she left or somebody left it from her team thank you alicia enjoy your freebies i will enjoy at least some of them but look at the pen color that is it's like a really sparkly teal i love that pen so much a lot of teal going on in this haul right now okay so next um i have some score prints co kits that I got from the buy sell trade from Jackie. So it's really sweet that she left a little post-it note. Um, she was selling these mini mystery kits. I had been eyeing these for like a few months, um, but just never really felt like buying. But she had these mini versions at a really good sale. Obviously I would prefer getting all of the extras and the freebies. These don't come with anything, not even glitter headers, but, or maybe they do. Looks like there's the outline of a, a glitter sampler in the backs of these, so that's, awesome um so yeah that is you know it's it's totally fine though if i don't get the extras like i'm still just happy for what i have and at a good price too so she also included this really nice journaling card which i think is using the nutcracker art if i'm not mistaken i love those bow journaling cards so this one is the carnival one i have a carnival one from simply a mess i think um which is very similar in color scheme and kind of theme but i really liked this one also and this would be great to use for, I think, our boardwalk, our little amusement park that we have here. Um, even though it says, welcome to the carnival, you know, it's kind of the same idea, same stuff. And it's just really pretty. I love all of the, I love the art in the boxes. I think these were both drawn by Kintish Gold Jess, if I'm not mistaken. I know for sure that this one was. I don't know for sure if this one was, but I feel like it was. So you get the little Andrea freebie there. This was an earlier 2019 mystery kit, I think. I don't remember which month exactly. Um, and then here's the page of deco, the weekend banner, movie marquees, functional stuff, more boxes, little things, headers, bottom washi. That could be good to cut in half. Ninth full box, be good for an overlay. And then you do get the glitter sampler, so that's really nice. Um, just such a really fun kit. There's not a ton of carnival kits out there. I feel like it's probably pretty hard to go wrong with the carnival kit. This is obviously not going to work me trying to put that back with that stick in there. So I'm just going to put it off to the side for now. It's hard to mess up this theme, but I think she did an excellent job with this one. And there's even like funnel cake, which is my favorite thing in the whole world. So love that. And then this one is a kind of pool party oasis scene which is really pretty i'm not going to open it up to show you the format because i did with the last one it is also a mini kit um this is less relevant to me in my life because i don't really like swimming but honestly the colors and the way this was drawn was just too perfect i couldn't pass it up so i'm sure there's going to be an occasion in my life where i get roped into one of these type of events so i want to be able to mark that and otherwise i can just look at this gorgeous kit with these really bright summery colors it's not often that this color scheme or theme would really draw me in, but this one definitely it did. And I love that bathing suit right there. I have, um, I have a suit with that kind of upper part that's not sheer, but like I like that design for swimsuits. So yeah, gorgeous. And then finally I have this huge order from Paper Candy Art. I've actually placed a really big order on Black Friday. This was the one I placed before that. So this is all the Halloween kits from Paper Candy Art, of which there were very many that I wanted. So you're gonna see a ton of those here. All of my extras were bundled together. So I am gonna have to do a lot of separating 
and all of my glitter samplers were bundled together too. Maybe I only got three kits and they're just really thick. She also does not package her kits individually, which is another reason I get her chop confused with pink leaf prints. And they both start with P and they both come with tons of extras that you have to get, I think, separately. It's just confusing. So here is the sampler, which also has a bunch of the really common icons that you'll see in many different shops, but a nice green scheme, which I love. So we're going to start off with this Luna Lovegood kit right here. Um, I actually have a printable version of a Luna Lovegood kit from La La Land. I guess everybody's doing it. I think Key Town has this art too, but I think I had to choose between Key Town and Paper Candy Art because they have the same color scheme. And I went with hers because I like her formatting a lot better and her extras. So this is the one I went with, but it is very pretty. I love Luna so, so much. She's like one of my favorite characters from Harry Potter. And I love this color scheme, this pink and blue. It's just amazing. And I even get um, Ravenclaw's diadem. So that's very cute. You get all of these scripts and little icons. So you get a ton of those. You get two extra full boxes. I think this may be the bigger sized kit. Or maybe, it, oh, I think it is actually the mini kit. I think that she still includes two extra boxes with the mini kit. So I like, I had to get the mini kit anyway. Oh, and a third one. So you get 11 full boxes, which is just insane. And your washi already split in half all these boxes so this would be pretty easy to split up into two weeks i feel like you got all this functional stuff in here two versions of the weekend banner and date dots and work labels so you get everything i do think this is the mini kit so it's even more special and then you get the option to um i thought you got the option to add on deco but i am not seeing it here Yeah, I guess, I guess I didn't get the deco, but um, that is perfectly okay. If there was deco as an option, I'll pick it up in my next order. If not, I think I will survive. So um, here, I did get the glitter sampler as an add-on also. It's very similar to the Scribble Prince Co. one, but there's no flags on that one. So that is the Luna kit. And then next, I picked up the Casper kit. Yeah, I think there's only three kits here. So yeah, a lot of shops did this art as well, but again, I liked hers the best. So I did watch this this year. I don't think I'm gonna use this kit to market though because I was already gonna use a Nightmare Before Christmas for that week. I watched this during Halloween week, I think, but maybe next year I will try to use this. Yeah, I, I do love all of these. These three ghosts are hilarious. Casper is really cute, and she is funny as a ghost. But um, yeah, gotta love everybody in this movie. It was really cute. It was kind of boring. I did fall asleep at the at the end, but that's just me staying up too late trying to force movies in where I don't really have time and I should be sleeping. But it is cute. It's a cute movie. So here's your two extra full boxes there moving stuff and the toy train and sled date covers 10th full box with oh my god forget his name but it's the fat ghost dressed up as his um his wife or like pretending to be her so that is just the funniest thing ever to have in a full box um well this i guess i am going through all the format for you because it doesn't involve me opening a cello I did get extras. I got this giant double box, um, which is actually neat because that um, that art is not included anywhere else in here. These are obviously kind of the same as in there, but um, it is a new a new scene kind of set up there. So I also did get the deco for this one. Not as a ton of deco on the sheet, but you do have to buy it separately, so it makes sense. So that's the Casper kit. I love Paper Candy Arts layout so, so much. 
my latest order was even bigger. So lastly, I got the Ghostbusters kit. This was, again, art that was used in a few other shops, not as many as Casper, I don't think, but a few. But I liked this one best. So here we have all the four original Ghostbusters, the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, the Slime Ghost, the car, and then that's, I think, Sigourney Weaver who played her, who was possessed by, like, the demon or the bad guy or whatever. Zool, I think, question mark. There's that page. Here's two extra full boxes. So, like, a cake, Ghostbusters theme, which is really fun. And then the Ghost Trap. And their tenth one, which is the, I guess, is that Zool? Is that the final villain? It's really shady for, or not shady, it's kind of hazy for me. I don't remember too much about this movie, but I really want to watch it again because I did enjoy it a lot. So there's that. I did get the double box, which is all of them, and the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man behind them. Um, extra full boxes, which is, oh my god, this is definitely going to be spread into two weeks then with the amount of full boxes in here. So again, the Marshmallow Man, I don't know, just, I don't remember what that is actually. The symbol, Ghostbuster symbol, and a cupcake, and then another spooky ghost thing, and then the deco as well. So there's a ton of extras with that. Definitely easy to spread into two weeks. So that's that. And then a few extra deco sheets I got are just to go with kits I already had. So this one is from the Hocus Pocus pastel version. So I don't think I... I got this kit from, I think, Cricut Paper Co. And she doesn't do deco. So I have to get deco from somewhere else. So... I got it from Paper Candy Art. I may have gotten it from Little Paper Prints too, I'm not sure, but if, if so, I'll have extra deco. And then Cheshire Cat. Um, I did get this from P Cricut Paper Co. also, and I don't think I found this deco anywhere else, so this may be my only deco for that, but I'm really happy to have that. And I forgot to mention, I got the glitter sampler for the Casper kit, and the glitter sampler for the Ghostbusters kit as well. So I'm all glittered up. So yes, I absolutely adore her format and we'll definitely be seeing tons more of paper candy art in future hauls. So that's it for this section. Let's get into the next one. Okay, so for this next part, I have a little bit to show you. I have actually, um, I think just two orders in this part of the haul. And then just a couple extra things to show you. So let's go over the orders first. So we have one kind of big order from Simply a Mess. I think this was when I had to get all of her Christmas stuff um, during her Black Friday sale. Probably not all of it. There's probably some more stuff in there in her shop that I want. I don't think it's going to leave anytime soon necessarily, but um, like maybe it'll go until after Christmas. That would be awesome. But anyway, or just like after winter, I don't know. But yeah, this was for her Black Friday sale and I had to get this stuff. So looks like all of the extra things I got for the kits are in this bundle. So first of all, there is this thank you note. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, so this is a new thing that she's doing, doing this little thank you note insert, just like Pumpkin Paper Co., where she writes her name too, so that's really nice. And it includes this drawing by her sister Alex, so that's cool. I like that personal touch. And then this journaling card, which says, baby, it's cold outside. It's very cool. And then for Black Friday, you did get this little sampler here, which is kind of like her normal sampler, but um, I guess she just decided to say it's a Black Friday sampler, but this is generally stuff you would expect in a normal sampler. Um, so we have two of the messy girls. One of them's got a present, the other one is ironing. I think that's a new one. I haven't seen that one in the shop, I don't think. Um, and then we have this like doctor's accessories for if you go to see the doctor. And then here we have a like some kind of Starbucks drink or something with a donut on it, which is really cute. And I've never seen it really done that way before. 
I don't typically get Starbucks and a donut at the same time because that's just like a sugar overload. I mean, that doesn't necessarily have to be a Starbucks drink, but like if it was me, it would be from Starbucks. Um, yeah, I wouldn't get it both at once because it would be a sugar overload, but it is still a really cute idea. And then you get two scripts, one that says make resolutions and the other that says family time. So that is the Black Friday freebie. And then if you spent $50 or more, you got this foil freebie as well, which is really cool. And I think this, it looks kind of like goldy, but also like rose goldy. So it's either, it's one of those colors. I hate it when they don't tell you because otherwise I will have no idea what the foil color is. But um, we have a full box overlay with like a border with stars here and then a few scripts valentine's day it's my birthday and then vacation day so it's kind of like holiday themed very cool and useful so i also got wow i got a lot of like full box pages and two of multicolor so So I got both the fall and winter color collection with, with the movie marquees because I do need to stock up on movie marquees in different colorways because these are things that I use several times a week and usually kits do, uh, do not come with more than one if they even come with one. So it's kind of unusual to have enough movie marquees in a weekly kit to suit my needs. So I am stocking up. I generally prefer the big ones that give you a lot of room to write in. Um, if I want to write it in myself and use like a character sticker next to it. But I recognize that there are times where I'm not going to have a lot of room to put in the movie in my day. So I would need the smaller ones. And these um, work really well with script movie titles, um, like foil overlay scripts. So you don't have to try and cram your writing into this tiny box. So that's kind of how I intend to use this a little bit. So we have your fall color scheme right here and then your winter right here. And both are pretty dark, but I kind of like that. I just like variety. Like in here, you're pretty much going to find something to fit almost every type of kit. And then when spring and summer come around, there's going to be some lighter shades, I'm sure. So that is the movie marquees on the multicolor. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and go over the full box sheets first. So um, I try not to buy too many full box sheets now. I, I have like so many, but um, I like I haven't really used them yet. And I've done Frankenstein kits before pretty easily, but like it takes a lot of effort and I don't have that many extras lying around like, you know, sheets of that to, um, to really make it easy for me to put something together. So it was when I get full sheets of, um, full boxes, they're just kind of like maybe someday sheets. So, um, but some of these like I have a plan for and others are maybe someday sheets. So this one on top, is just the winter collection. It's very generic. Um, I just thought these colors were really nice and I have like almost no winter kits. I have maybe four and winter lasts like a long time. So, um, so you know, I needed more and I just liked this really pale color scheme and all the winter animals like the deer and the fox and the wolf and the polar bear. Wolf is my favorite, but um, yeah, it was just really sweet pinks and blues and whites can't really go wrong with that so that I'm just gonna add to my collection for maybe someday um, and then this Paris collection for these next four sheets here I think these are all ones um, that I am just getting for the full boxes so I can add these onto other kits from other shops because sometimes I will see a kit from another shop that I really like but then there's like one or two full boxes that like she has or that somebody else has that I can buy separately um, and kind of like merge them together and kind of pick and choose full boxes from different shops that I want to include um, and I really like it when shops do offer full box sheets separately so you don't have to buy just two kits which I have had done on occasion I've been forced to do that but um, I do love how 
she's doing this. And I do want to point out too, I didn't point it out before because I didn't even notice until now, but she is doing all of these stickers on her new um, matte paper. I don't remember if it's premium matte, but it feels like really buttery and nice. So it feels like premium matte. You know, either way, I'm fooled. Um, I actually don't really notice like anything really that different compared to glossy. Usually I'm obsessed with glossy, but like I didn't even notice until now that it was premium matte instead. So like the print quality is still amazing and it's definitely much easier to film because there's no glare. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think it was a pretty seamless transition then, especially if I didn't even notice it. So um, coming back to this kit, I don't actually remember what um, what shop I bought the actual uh, Paris kit from. I'm sure it will appear in my mailbox someday and I'll be like, oh, it's probably Sticky Essentials. That's my best guess right now. Um, that's like one of the few kit orders I'm still waiting for. But I think it was that and I think I got these uh, full boxes as well probably for one or both of the double box scenes that was probably absent from Sticky Essentials. I don't know. The thing is though I'm just now realizing that um, my the Sticky Essentials kit that I got is glossy if it's if it's the one that I'm thinking of. So I always get her kits in glossy and this is premium matte. So there's gonna be a little bit of a disconnect there. But I think if you put overlays over this, you're not even gonna notice. So that's probably gonna be my plan for that. But yeah, these are gorgeous um, full boxes. There is kind of a disconnect between the ones that are scenes, like these five, and the ones that are just objects on a flowered background, like these four. They don't really look like they're part of the same kit at all. Um, so that's kind of another decision why I didn't just get the whole kit from Simply Mess and why I just wanted to pick and choose what I wanted to go with the other kit. So that's kind of my reasoning behind that. But I really do love these, um, these scenes, scene boxes. So it's going to be fun to kind of Frankenstein that together. Okay, so this next sheet of full boxes I got is the Christmas at the Borough Collection. A ton of shops have done this art. And it was kind of hard choosing what I liked best, but also a lot of shops were kind of doing it the same way. I absolutely adore these full boxes, but I think I did end up wanting this kit from Glam Planner instead. I haven't purchased it yet, I don't think. I don't think I have. But like my goal is to get the actual kit from Glam Planner and then pull in some of these full boxes. There are a lot of really nice full boxes here, so like I don't think I would have really minded getting this whole kit from Simply MS, but clearly I had something in mind and it's been a while since I've seen the Glam Planner one, so either way, I'm sure I'll have lots of options there. So I'm super excited about that. I mostly just really love this scene and I don't think Glam Planner had this scene, so I guess I needed it from somewhere, but I love all the other boxes too and there's Hedwig and there's the jumpers and there's the, like the potions. Ooh, very cool. Yes. Uh, yeah, we definitely needed a Christmas at the borough art set, clip art set. So, loving that. I have so many Harry Potter kits. I have probably almost 20 right now. Um, enough for like practically a whole Harry Potter year. Well, at least I will by the time I get around to using them. So, this next one is a Snuggle Season. Er, no, the clip art set is called Snuggle Season. This is called the Fireside Collection from Simply Mess, though. Um, I did get this kit from probably Scribble Prints Co., if I'm not mistaken. I got it from somebody else. Um, I have a really tough time remembering who, but I know it was somebody who did only eight boxes in their kits instead of nine, eight full boxes. Um, but anyway, clearly there must have been some parts of this these full boxes that were not included in that. I think it was probably the baking boxes. I think those were kind of unique. Now that I'm thinking about it, it might have also been Sticky Essentials, but I don't I don't feel like it. Anyway, yeah, so all of these like food related boxes were probably not included in there and I definitely wanted to be able to incorporate them in, like the gingerbread cookies, dough stuff, like I'm obsessed with that. So yeah, I needed to be able to include that. So 
that's kind of the purpose of that. I oh, just noticed like the steam coming off of the coffee that's like reflected on her hair. That's so cool. Such a cool effect. Although what's really sad is that where the cut line is on this full box, her nose is completely cut off. I'm gonna like peel that up. Look at that. Kind of ruins the effect. It's hilarious though. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use that box though because I think I already have that box in the kit that I bought. Um, all right, so then this last one is White Christmas Collection. This is also art that has been done by so many shops. So, so many. I got this kit probably also from School Reference Co. Or it's like on my wish list from School Reference Co. or something. Um, that sounds most familiar to me, I think. But yeah, there were a few boxes in here that weren't in that one. I don't think it was that double box scene, but perhaps some of the others I really liked. But yeah, I mean, this isn't like a collection I'm totally in love with, like in terms of just the art and the theme. It's like very snowy, woodsy winter, and like that's not really my aesthetic like now, or at least anywhere I've lived. Like I haven't even lived in places where it's snowed, and I don't, you know, I don't go to forests like this that much. But um, but it's like it's an aesthetic I like, even if it's not super relevant to my life. It just, it's, it's really wintry to me. It's just classic winter, what you think of when you think of winter. So I liked it enough to get it in some form or other. So I will add this to whatever kit I get with the rest of the kit. So now let's get into the full kits I got from her. I got four full kits and like all the extras because I made the mistake of not getting extras when I first bought from her and I went and end up, ended up having to rebuy them or not rebuy them, but like buy them a year later. And I just, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. If I start using a kit and find out it doesn't have date covers, I'm gonna be mad if I start doing it with like some white space or something. So firstly, I got this Let's Get Cozy collection. I kind of needed this because of the cats, because like, duh. That's really it. I mean, I'll, obviously I love like the hot cocoa implication there and um, and the socks. I do love me some socks. And I do like the cozy Higa aesthetic, although I don't really super incorporate my life to be like that, but it's a nice aesthetic, like with the winter thing. It's just, I like the aesthetic. So had to get it, although there's jeans there and I hate jeans. I hate jeans so much. I just. You never, you'll never catch me in jeans except for work where it is required. Anyway, I just, I love the cats. I love the cozy. It's very nice. Now I have to follow my rule of showing one full kit layout per shop per haul. For those of y'all that do not know, that are not familiar with Simply MS kits, I get the mini kit, which is the first four pages, and then I get both the add-ons. And this is enough for me. Um, I don't think I've tried to do some white space planning with this yet. It may work if I pull in like some boxes from other kits, which I may try to do. There's that beautiful matte paper again. Here we have the second page with deco, weekend banners, some functional stuff, icons. So there's, there's six quarter boxes down there. That's nice. And some flag checklist right there. Headers, all the boxes down here. There's way more half boxes than you would ever use in a spread even if you're doing no white space planning, but options, people. And then this gorgeous bottom washi, some washi right here. Um, wow, three habit trackers, that's a lot. Page flags and then a sidebar tracker. So yeah, this is, and this plus the add-ons is basically like everything you would need. So let me go ahead, ooh. There's some stuff that went with other other kits, other pages down here, rather. Okay. Wait, did I say this was the Let's Get Cozy collection? Did I say that? Because that's what the quote box said. It's quite possible that I said that. Because I'm pretty sure I did not say the actual title of the collection. It is the Kittens and Coffee collection, because obviously there's kittens and there's coffee. I don't think that's coffee. I still think that's hot chocolate, because that looks like chocolate to me. Um... But that's what it is. So I did get the date covers and date dots because I'm not about to make that mistake again. I got the glitter headers because obviously. And then I got the extra f um, full boxes or like alternative full boxes with the different skin tones and hair colors. I don't really know why. 
because they're the exact same boxes as this I just I never really think about that like I'm not really gonna change these I don't think I might change that because I like the dark hair better with the kit so I might switch that one out and her brown skin kind of doesn't really go with the kit so I'm gonna probably switch it out for that lighter one and yeah okay I changed my mind I guess I will switch those out and yeah, if that seems like kind of insulting to you, just like know that that's kind of what I do. I switch out people based on how they look with the kit. Um, not really based on anything that's really applicable to my life. Otherwise I would just switch everyone out for the brown skin to match mine, but um, I don't know. I just think it, it clashes because there's like, there's no brown in the kit, so it doesn't look too good. Anyway. That is just how I plan. So I'm going to set that off to the side and show you the rest here. So next we have the Skating in the Snow collection. Um, what's funny is that I, I don't know, I guess I needed some ice skating kit this, um, this winter, but I don't know if I knew that I was going to need it to actually use it to mark ice skating or like if it was just kind of like oh this looks pretty and it's like winter related let me get it but um because like I had made plans to go ice skating with my boyfriend this year which we did like two days ago and I'm pretty sure I placed this order before we knew that we were planning to do that oh I don't know if it was a Black Friday order probably not I probably knew that Anyway, it feels super coincidental because I was like, I was looking at other shops ice skating kits because I didn't realize that I had already gotten one. I was like, why do you need an ice skating kit because we're going ice skating? So I was about to like buy one from another shop and then this order came in and I was like, oh wait, I already got one. It's right here. I don't need to buy one. So it kind of saved me there. But um, it's kind of interesting because I don't remember like what my thought process was, but like now I'm happy I have it. And because um, like there's one from School Prints Co. I think the December Mystery is like ice skating, but it's like girls ice skating. And I feel like this one is, it just looks to me like more coupley ice skating, at least in that box. And like the rest of it isn't like just girls having fun. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm probably going to use this to mark this current week that I'm filming. So um, yeah, so I just, I love this. Again, it's like snowy, wintry woods aesthetic kind of with the cabin and everything. But, um, but I like the skates and the warm clothes and the, and the sweaters because we actually like had a whole conversation about our different sweaters the night of our date. It was really funny. Um, it's just, this is something I like to talk about is sweaters. <laughs> Call me crazy. But, um, yeah, it's just a very cool kit. I like how it's really dark. You don't get a lot of kits with like a really dark color scheme, but like, this is it. We've got the aesthetic. So that's that. Um. Let me show you the extras for that collection. So this is the Skating in the Snow collection. If I did not say that before, let me like finally zoom in for y'all. There's that glare. Um, so here's the date covers and date dots for that. The glitter headers. Let me lift off that glare for you. So there's glitter headers that go along with that. And I don't think there's any extra full boxes. No, there is not. It would be really cute to have a couple box, but alas. I think this is the only shop I've seen this art in too, so that's kind of that's kind of what there is. So yeah, I really like that, so probably gonna use that for this week. And that goes over there. And then next we have the Ready for Christmas collection. So yeah, this was another set that has been done by many shops, but um this one was the one I liked the best. So I don't know, I really like this art. It's like really classic Christmas, but like a very homey feel. Just like a, just any average Joe's kind of Christmas celebration. Or like just, I guess, kind of how I felt growing up kind of a little bit. It feels like a very approachable kind of Christmas celebration. Um, except for all that wood in the fireplace. Our fireplace was fake. So, I mean, like it was electric rather, not like fake as in it didn't work. But, um... But yeah, I just, I like this. I don't really like the dogs. I don't like dogs. Again, call me crazy. So I might leave that one out. I don't know. The rest of it I really like. Oh, I love that little mug with the hot chocolate in it. Of course, Home Alone is on the laptop screen, which is like how I watch my movies. Well, I have a second monitor, so I watch it on the big monitor. 
but um, my laptop looks exactly like that. And yeah, I love the tree. And even more hot cocoa. There's like hot cocoa everywhere in this kit, which I'm loving. And candy canes. Yeah. Usually I don't go for like something that has such a homey feel, but I don't I, I just needed I just needed this art. So I got it. And the extras I already pulled out, so there's only two there's no extra full boxes with this one. So there is the date covers and date dots and then the glitter headers for that. I feel like that's supposed to be gray, but it's looking kind of blue because like that looks more gray and it's like there's no blue in the kit, but like I guess it's supposed to match that color. Interesting. Anyway, it's gonna look good when you put it all together. So that is the Ready for Christmas collection. And then finally we have the Midnight Magic collection. I actually like totally fangirled over this when she posted that she posted about this in her Facebook group. I was like, oh my god, I need this because I'm obsessed with Cinderella and also there's like stars in the background and it's like super celestial and the colors would go really well with hollow. And guess who came out with a bunch of hollow celestial foil overlays in her sub box? That was rose colored days. So that was probably a couple months. Yeah, I think a couple subs ago that she did the hollow celestial stuff. And I was thinking like, I'm never going to use that. I don't really go for celestial kits, but I saw this kit and I was like, this is like not even super celestial, but like it would go so perfectly with that, all that um, foil overlay tapes. So I'm going to try to put these together and it's going to be gorgeous. But yeah, I just, I love the darkness, but the, yet the classic Cinderella blue, like the nighttime and the pinks and blues and the castle is pink and blue. Oh my God. It's, this is just a really gorgeous kit and the little mouse with the thread. It's just really pretty. I love Cinderella. She's not my favorite Disney princess, but I love her. And then we have two extras with this one also, the date covers and date dots. And then the glitter headers. And this is, I don't know if it's exclusive art, but it's the only shop I've seen with this art. So keep that in mind if you want that. And I forgot to go over the extra boxes for the full box sheets that I got, the single sheets. So here's the extra boxes for the white Christmas. One of them is an alternative, or I guess two of them are alternative hair colors. I'm gonna leave that one because it's brown. Um, and then these two are just an extra girl. Again, I will probably do the brown here. And then for Snuggle Season, we have the kind of family boxes. This one is kind of an alternative to that girl, but with a face. Again, I have no idea which of these I'm actually going to use. I might have to stretch it, stretch it out over two weeks to get my money's worth out of these boxes. Um, and then that was an alternative to that girl with the face. I think it's really funny that she allows you the option to use a face in your kit if you like that. Whereas some people like Viv do not like faces in their kits. I love them, so I probably will switch that out if there isn't one of these in the actual kit that I got. And then there's a little girl who's so cute and a little boy who's also so cute. So I will try to use as much of that as I can. And then I guess there's no extra boxes for the Paris collection, although I'm sure I looked. But then we do have the extra girls for the Christmas at the Burrow. So these are just the same girl in four different hair and skin combinations. I think the red hair is obviously what I'm going to go with because like that's what a Weasley is. Weasley has red hair. So that is actually it from, oh yeah, I guess there weren't any extra boxes for that too. So that is it from Simply a Mess. That was kind of a chunky order, but like not super chunky. I only got like four actual kits, but um, pretty good size order from Simply a Mess. So let's get into the next part. Okay, so the second thing that is an actual order is from Creating and Co. So if I am not mistaken, I believe this is the advent calendar, um, which I got in just the sticker form. And because there was a mistake with shipping, um, like basically the original order got lost. The original order was an advent where you were supposed to open one envelope each day for seven days and because it got lost she had to reprint everything and she was not able to do it you know one for seven days um one each day for seven days rather 
So she said if you still wanted it and you didn't want the refund, that it would just be all in one package. So I was fine with that. I don't care. I'm already doing the Skull Prince Co. Advent, which is next, actually. But um, I just, you know, I just wanted the stickers. So here are the stickers. And if you don't want to be spoiled, now would be the time to go down to the description bar and click to the next section. Although I'm sure by the time this goes up, it will be way past the time of opening this but just in case just in case there's an option to skip below so let's go ahead and get into this kit i don't know what what this is i don't know what to expect i know vaguely what the theme is and i think i'm gonna like it but i don't really know so let's get into it so i'm seeing a, seeing a bunch of little mini sheets um but before we get into those i kind of want to know what i'm dealing with kit wise so Oh my god, there's a lot in here. So, all right. So, looks like this is what the main kit is. And this is, like, really gorgeous. And I super love it. And I love the pink and blues. As I've said in, in the previous section of the haul, I do love me some pinks and blues when it comes to winter-themed kits. So, I think this theme was like winter in bookland or something like that obviously it's like winter and bookish themed so you kind of get the gist this is like really gorgeous and obviously books it's like kind of fairy tale themed too you've got the stained glass and the crown and the castle the dress another castle the interior of the castle the outside so yeah it's like almost like cinderella book winter all combined into one so yeah, there's like stacks of books in the interior of the castle, which is hilarious. I like that view of the castle like through this um, kind of blurry foreground tree. I love that stained glass um, window a lot with the castle. That's gorgeous. The world is full of magic, quote box with the, I guess that's the carriage, Cinderella's carriage behind that and the open book the dress in the library, the stubble box seen down here with the reindeer pulling the carriage to the castle. That's perfect. And lastly, the crown. I love all of this so much. Um, let me grab the extra page of full boxes just so we can get the full boxes out of the way all at once. These are also so, so gorgeous. We have two more outdoor winter scenes. This one is just a bridge and that one is the sword and the stone, which is a different kind of fairy tale thing. Uh, you're invited invitation to like presumably a ball of some sort um a chair in the kind of fireplace scene and then a double box scene of like a like a strip mall or of some kind like that just a main street sort of thing maybe it is main street i don't know but yeah so all of these go together really well and they are gorgeous and i'm really glad i got this because this was exclusive to this year like you already you had to get it for the advent calendar because it was not going to come to the shop and i think it was kind of a surprise i don't think she revealed like this whole kit so it was a really nice mystery advent um and then here's the page with the date cover let me zoom on again so it's too, con too confusing with all the zooming so you have your date covers deco a um a black and white weekend banner which is interesting some functionals um movie marquee which looks exactly like the ones that simply a mess does actually let me grab those for quick comparison yeah so it's the same one it's just done slightly differently just colored it differently rather and then exo the dog and all of his various functional activities and then actually, i actually think i haven't even used a creating a coat kit yet I don't even know how how useful and functional this kit is for like my planning style, but I'm curious to find out. You get all your boxes on here, tons of quarter boxes, which is fantastic, and page uh, flag flag checklists rather, not page flags. Here you have this beautiful bottom washi that is like the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Some headers, sidebar tracker, full page checklist, scripts, arrows, which is fun two habit trackers and then separately you have this page of shattered glass headers which i do love i love the shattered glass i feel like it would be kind of hard to put glitter headers over that but i'm sure i could come up with something and a bunch of extra quarter boxes which again is just what i need 
The interesting thing is that there's only 21 clear headers, so there are none left over for the sidebar, but I think I will survive. And then for extras, we do have another page of headers, so I guess there you go. You have these little book themed headers right here in all, not headers, um, I guess they are headers. They're just not glitter headers. It's weird for me to say that, but um, cause I, like, I think of like glitter headers as like one word, one thing. It's not an adjective for the noun header. Anyway, so we have these book headers, which do go very well with this kit. So you could, you know, mix these up with these shattered glass ones if you would like. And then as for things that actually go with the kit, the last thing is this full page of overlays. So you have basically overlays for every single page on here, or every single um, full box for this main page. They are meant to match up, I believe. This one I actually might do. I thought I wouldn't, I don't really necessarily like the ones that cover the whole boxes, but I feel like with certain of these, it really could work. Cause they're like, it's not gonna cover up too much important stuff. So yeah, that one I will probably not do. Cause I don't wanna cover up the top of the dress with that. I may do it from the bottom though. I may just turn it upside down. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. That one, I probably won't do one on. I know the double box scene. Yeah, I might do it for that too. I don't know. We will experiment with that. That one I definitely will. And the quote, obviously. So yeah, so that's really cool that she offers the option and this is in like a gorgeous hollow, which goes perfect with that, so another gorgeous hollow blue and white kit and then the extras that you get are these three pages here we have this open book page which is kind of like deco it is in a hollow foil and it is on this blue background so it does kind of match with that a little bit and then here we have exo the dog little character sticker reading Reading one book, surrounded by all the books, and then this script that says reading and introverting. Yeah, that's a good description. And then these really cute book bows, which are fantastic, like alternatives to bow clips for any bookish themed week. So that is a really awesome advent calendar. I'm excited to use that. And it was definitely worth it. Like I kind of knew from the theme and from the sneaks that I would love it, but I am really happy to be proven right. So, let me go ahead and set that one off somewhere. Nope, that's kind of too far in frame. So, finally, we are gonna go over the other advent calendar I got this year, which is the Spiller Prince Co. Advent. Let's get that right side up. So, go ahead and skip this if you are saving it for some other time. Now, I already have opened up the first two, just so I could kind of see what I was getting into. I haven't opened up the third one because I wanted to do that on camera too, just like I did with the um, the advent. I kind of wanted that to be a surprise. So I'm just going to try to do it as a surprise going forward so you can see my initial reactions. But these are the first two days. Um, this is the little card that comes with it that kind of tells you about it and what sheets are semi-misfits. curious about that one anyway I don't think any of those quote-unquote misfits are gonna be a huge noticeable issue so let's get into it so firstly we have the very first one was this gorgeous wiggle in this really bright like magenta color but it's like it's not her usual other magenta it's like a very purpley magenta which I think is the coolest thing and it's in the old format so the, just the regular confetti dots, not the twinkle. I like both formats, so I don't care. But, um, so here we have both different types of bottom washi overlays, the bows and the hearts. These are her old style bows, which I like better. The, um, confetti dot headers. Oh, it just hits and you can see like the reddish sheen to it. It's got everything. The full box overlays 
the icons, yeah, it really shines there too. And the date dots, the photo corners, which I really love that she included, because I think that wasn't always a thing. These tiny cutout icons, which I also really, really love. And then this freebie sheet, which is the scripts and then the bows in three sizes. So I love that. I definitely have probably many kits that this would go with. I might even actually use this one for the Cheshire Cat kit that I have instead of the other magenta one from Scholar Prince Co. I may just switch them out. We will see. And then the second day was this um, was this wiggle, which is one of her matte wiggles, which I don't really like and didn't really intend to buy or use at all. But now that I have this one, I think I just might have to, I don't know, just to test it out. And because I have it, I don't want to go to the trouble of selling just one thing. Um, well, it depends on what else is in the advent that I don't like. So we will see. I may just hold on to it until the end and see if I have enough to merit selling anything. So the paper is really nice. And this is a kind of peachy pink with silver foil on it. So... This is what it looks like there. So this is just a whole washi strip. It's not gonna overlay on everything. This would just be your washi strip, which is kind of nice. So you don't really have to go to the work of lining it up, but also you have to have a kit that's gonna match the exact colors of peach with silver foil. And I feel like that would be kind of hard. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm sure I have one. I have hundreds of kits, so I'm sure that there's one in there. Anyway, um, you get two types there. This is kind of the newer type. So instead of being the heart, this is just the kind of stardust confetti type of bottom washi, which I also love. These are my two favorite washi overlay types from Score Prince Co. So on this page, or in this wiggle, you also do get this page, which is kind of exclusive to, I think, this type of wiggle, possibly. I don't know. I haven't seen it in any of the other wiggle types, the clear ones. But you get all of these page flags and then all of these tiny little bow decos. And then here you have the headers, again, already filled in, so there's no overly required. And what's nice about these types of wiggles is that she does include date covers, so you have two sets here. Although there is no date dot to put over it, so you would have to get like a clear silver date dot from elsewhere, which, you know, is pretty easy to find, so that's not really an issue. And it would be weird to include like a solid date dot in this wiggle like you know it'd have to be like really tiny in order to fit in there and it would just be unnecessary and then you get the circle icons right here which you can't really tell that they're circle until you lift one up but they are a circle so it is a smaller wiggle although it does include these two kind of premium matte exclusive wiggles or whatever kind of matte this is exclusive wiggle sheets but um it does feel a lot smaller just a brief overview of what this does not include that the normal wiggles do is the flex overlays obviously the date dots photo corners obviously because these are only like overlays same for these cutout icons well technically she could just do that as a cutout but like it would seem kind of extra and then you do not get your scripts either or the different sizes of bows you get just the tiny bows right here so that is the difference between them they all have their advantages and you can still add like a whole silver wiggle or like uh, just other silver foil to this and just like use it all in conjunction on one spread and it would still be good. So that's an option that I may just do. We will see. I'm going to lo actually look through my kits at some point and see if there's one that like I feel like this would really go with because I want to try to use it just to see if it's something I need to be trying. So that is that. All right. So here's day three have not opened it yet don't know what's in it let's find out and catch my natural reaction on camera i'm bad at opening envelopes do not judge me i feel like everybody is it's just not something anybody talks about ever that is a wreck so ooh, some tiny sheets look at the oh my god scripts i literally die for scripts and these are jessica's handwriting scripts which are like discontinued so i die for them even more hers were my favorite oh my god Oh my god, oh my god, look at this hollow, I'm having a heart attack. So, oh my god, I feel like this is every script in that she did in, like, hollow. She probably didn't even offer this in hollow in her shop, actually. This is probably, like, exclusive. I don't know if it is, but I feel like it is. I feel like this is super special. 
it's just like Jessica's last hurrah with her handwriting in Scribble Prince Co. So here is the kind of um, self-care sheet. So you have me time, hair appointment, sleep in, treat yourself, bath night, face mask, nail appointment, paint nails. Um, some of those repeats. Not a ton of this stuff I use. Probably only like sleep in is what I would use. But um, but I do love that, and I love the option, and I love the hollow. It is such good, such good hollow foil. And then this one is the food one. So there is pizza night, taco Tuesday, happy hour, order takeout, meal prep, coffee time, grocery run, barbecue, and then several more grocery runs. So yeah, I would use some of these for sure. Oh yes. And then work. The work one is my favorite. I just love the way she writes work and how it fits into the quarter boxes or the the fancy labels rather in her kits. Just love it. I wish I had more. I wish I'd gotten more of these before they were discontinued. But at least I have them in hollow. And then we have the finance one. So bill due, plan budget, payday, no spend. And then we have planning. So plan next week, buy more stickers, happy meal, organize stickers, planning time, buy more stickers, new releases. Very useful. The family one. Actually, I think this might be kids, the kids one. Bath time, play time, family time, cuddle time, reading time. Very cute. I will hoard this, obviously. Cleaning. So we have tidy up, vacuum, laundry time, do the dishes, cleaning day, declutter, and organize. I don't really do a ton of cleaning, but whenever I do, and it's a hollow week, I can mark it. So this one is a date one. Oh my god. I'm happy about this now that I am in a relationship. <laughs> I'm one of those people that like is kind of sour to everything that's like super coupley or like anything relating to a relationship really if I'm not in one but anyway I can just appreciate this more now that I you know can think of active ways that I can use these stickers so there is dinner date movie date lunch date date day coffee date breakfast date date night and anniversary Ooh, la la love it so Next we have like exercise. So basically just workout and gym day. That one is a little bit messed up, but like I never go to the gym. So like literally what do I care? Workout ones I may use if I'm doing an at-home workout. Yeah, that's kind of flaking a little bit. But, like it's coming off. Like I'm not too, too worried. Yeah, it's all right. It's gonna be all right. So yeah, that's like all like the scripts that she ever hand lettered in hollow so yeah the perfect addition to my collection and i'm so psyched about that and i'm so psyched for the rest of it the rest of the advent because like what more amazing surprises can it hold in the next how many days are there 12 in the next nine days that's a lot of days so that is it for this oh wait no that's not it for this section so finally, we're gonna go into just one more thing that I wanted to show you, which is not really like an order that I placed from a shop. I mean, it kind of is. I got customs from both Once More of Love and the Coffee Monsters Co. back when they were doing it. They both kind of did it close to the same time. Um, and I just got both, cause you know, it's just something you have to do at least once. I kind of told them the same stuff for like what I wanted on it, except I think with Once More of Love, I did not get the pet option or like I didn't get it in time or something to pet out on, but I did get it with the Coffee Monsters Co. So I have them both and I put them on the same sheet in their different sizes. This is just one of my sticker sheets. I just made it for myself out of the customs that I got and I really like them. Um, I like the Coffee Monsters Co. one a little bit more, I think. This one, she's like a fat face. She looks really pudgy. But yeah, this is the munchkin. So that's me as a munchkin with my red blazer white shirt underneath and black pants, which is probably like my power outfit. If I had one, that would be it. Red is my power color. I think a lot of people have red as their power color. And then my, you know, my hair and my classic bun as such. That will never change. But yeah, that's like me in my most basic munchkin-y form. So we have the big size here. I give myself quite a lot of allowance in terms of the white space outside of the design so that my silhouette would not just go crazy and cut too close 
although it seemed to do really well with this one, so maybe it was kind of excessive, but I didn't want to take the risk. And then the really tiny versions right here, which are actually probably going to be a lot easier to use, but I only have like four of each, so maybe I need to rethink that. But then we have the Coffee Monsters Co. ones, which I love a little bit more. So um, I did get the option to have the skin color on that one, so she looks even more like me. And just everything just does look a little bit more customized. The hair has more custom details, and um, the little curly cues everywhere. The face is really cute. Well, she doesn't have pants, but like, that's like probably one of the biggest differences. Um, but like, no monies don't have pants. But the blazer definitely is a little more detailed with the collar and the buttons. Um, and then I also got her to add in my little snake. So that is Anastasia right there. And she's so cute. I love her. I love these. Um, so this one's already used because I actually had a whole nother sheet printed and I used up all the ones on that sheet because I'm using this, um, the Coffee Monsters Co. one to sign my Christmas cards with this year. So I usually just, you know, write my name, you know, with love, Alicia and Anastasia, and I'll put this sticker next to it because that's Alicia, that's Anastasia. So yeah, that was just too perfect not to use. And it's going to be really funny because all of my family that doesn't know I'm into stickers, which is probably not that many of them, but if they don't, nope anything about that they're gonna think like whoa that looks just like her how did she find a sticker that looks just like her they're like not even gonna understand the whole concept of like custom stickers or like anything like that it's gonna be so funny it's gonna spark a hilarious conversation if they choose to acknowledge it at all so that's gonna be fun can't wait for that but um yeah I just I like I like having little custom me's from all the shops I have two other customs I think at least two maybe three I have a custom Tara too so maybe four, three. I don't know. I have a lot. I have like a handful of customs now. I'll just keep getting them. I like rarely even find ways to use them other than just signing Christmas cards so far, but like we will see. I want to have the option to use something that looks like me in, in a time when it's right. I'll know when that is. So yeah, that is finally it for the section of the haul. I think I have time to squeeze in another tiny one. So let's go ahead and get into that. Alrighty, so I'm going to try to finish out this haul with a quick little order from like Coffee Monsters Co. However, before that, I am going to go over two more Advent Days from Skull Prince Co. Just to kind of keep the continuity. Um, although I did have, I think, one thing as the last part of the last section that um, was not Advent. I'm just, I'm just going to do the other two Advents I have first. So they're kind of in the same section of the haul and we'll save the Coffee Monsters Co. for very last. So um, again, skip this section if you do not want to get spoiled for the advent. So I'm going to go over days four and five. So this is day four that I am showing right now. It is another wiggle, another matte wiggle, but it is a really pretty pink plaid, kind of like picnic plaid right here. I actually love picnic plaid. Um, I do like the pink. It actually reminds me a lot of a Simply Gilded roll, which I'm actually digging for right now. It reminds me kind of of that one, although this one I think is a little bit darker. Maybe if you roll it out, it's a bit lighter. I haven't swatched it yet, so I don't really have a conception of how this roll is. And it is giving me trouble, and my nails are not really long enough, so I'm going to go for the tweezers. There we go. That did it still need the tweezers and let's do a little bit of unrolling and kind of compare all right so that now that is very light so that's almost really the exact the exact kind of thing except that obviously has gold foil and then that has silver but it is very cool so you can combine kind of both of these if you want to do a mixed metals type thing like you could get creative with that like um, I do think it's funny Oh wait, no, never mind. She does include headers. So you could do like, I don't know. You could do anything if, however you want to combine those. It's just, I thought it was a really cool coincidence how they look similar. But, um, so yeah, like I said before, I'm not really sure about matte wiggles, but I really do like this color, this pattern a lot. Um, 
I definitely want to try to find some way to use this. I'll be holding on to this one for sure. I don't really, like, again, I don't really have any kits that would go with this right now necessarily. I think there was one mystery kit from SPC that, like, this would go with, but I didn't get that one and I didn't really want it. Um, you probably know which one I'm talking about. It was a recent one this year, um, kind of the middle of this year, but, um, but I will hold on to this because you never know when, I mean, this is a really specific pattern and color to come up in a, in a kit. So I might, you know, if I'm holding on to it, I'm going to be holding on to it for a really long time. But, um, but I still do want to, cause I think it's really gorgeous. And I just know that if I find a kit that this would go with that I really want, I'm going to like kick myself if I don't have this at the time. So I am going to hoard this for sure. But if you got the advent, let me know how y'all are going to use this, what kit you're going to use it for. Give me some ideas. It is really super unique and I love it. So that was day four. Day five was also a wiggle. It is the old format with just the confetti also. And it is this really gorgeous shade of like purpley pink. But it's like a really light kind of muted shade. It looks darker on camera than I think it does in person, but it is like just very like lavendery pink. Like I, I feel like this specific color has a specific name and I just can't think of it right now. So let me know what like what you would consider this color to be. It probably would show it better with natural light than the harsh light of my lamp, but you can kind of get the gist of it. It is a really cool color. It is also a kind of rare color to find in kits. Like it would, you wouldn't really necessarily look at a kit and think, oh, this, this color would be the perfect matching foil. So it is, it probably would take some planning to incorporate it. And since it's like right between pink and purple, like you can't really pass it off as either one at all. Um, so you'd have to find this exact shade, I feel like. It would look kind of off with a pink kit. Like you can't pretend that that matches. And I think it would look kind of off with a purple one too. I don't really have any purple stickers out right now, but you kind of get what I'm saying there. But again, I love this format of wiggle and I still think it's a really gorgeous color. Like I'm, I'm really obsessed with this pinky purple color. It's so unique for a foil. So I am going to do my darndest to try to find some way to use this, some kit to use it with. Again, leave me your suggestions down below if you've seen any kits that this would go with or how, how y'all are planning on using that. So those are the two advent days. And now we are done with the advent. So now we're getting back into our normal content. And now we are going to go over the Coffee Monsters Co. order. So this, I guess, is kind of a kind of a thicker one. I think I went through my wish list and threw most of the things. Oh, sorry, I threw most of the things I wanted into my cart. Not everything. There was probably like a few sheets still sitting there, but I got most of what I wanted. And I did remember to a dream bean sampler, so I'm really happy I did that. And I get all the Black Friday freebies. She's super generous with all of the freebies that she throws in. Even more so with this order than I think any other, although the bean card is probably part of it. I still have like six bean cards I need to redeem. I am very bad about remembering to do that. So, who boy. Yeah, that is kind of a thick order. And oh, that's cool, that's unique. So we get this little sheet of acetate that is foiled. I think it's my first ever sheet of foiled acetate. So that is really cool. It's hollow foil, which is like my favorite these days. It's really hard to see. Do I have a blank paper? I just have the sticker sheet. You can kind of see that on there. So it's just little emojis and stars and clouds. It's really cute. Don't super know what I would do with this, but I will put it somewhere. Um, and then we have this journaling card. That says a new chapter begins. This is this little emoji reading a book with a bagel and tea, which is goals right there. Um, I love this. So I guess it's kind of referencing the new year 2020 with a new chapter begins. So the new year. And then a bean card on the back with um, 
a Mama Tater note. I probably have more Mama Tater than any other notes, but um, I think I do have them all at this point. And it's a good thing I got another bean card because I have right now eight beans that are extra that are not on a card because I filled up all the cards I have. And then there's going to be a crap ton more in this order, more that's going to fit even on this bean card. So I, she just puts out new sheets like so fast, that, like I can't keep up. I need to like order some separate bean cards now, although to be fair, I'm already like way behind in my, in my cards. So I need to start redeeming before I start filling them up again. Um, but yeah, I always love putting down the beans. That's like my favorite part. So that is the journaling card and bean card. Now let's go over the freebies first. So we have this cute little unicorn onesie die cut with kind of a celestial planner, a stack of washing, a little flower in her hair. So that is very cute. And next we have this, I think this is just the regular freebie that comes with every order. So it is the November 2019 freebie. She is doing this thing now where she includes these little half box scene kind of things with every freebie and I just love these. I love how they are cut out around the top so that you can overlay them over stuff and it doesn't take up that much space and you can kind of write around it, etc, etc. I just love the way that looks. This is a little snowman scene. I can't really imagine why I would be using this because I never lived anywhere where it snowed, but I love it so much I will try to hold on to it and try to make it a snowman at some point in my life. So here is an emoji, it looks like with a carton of milk and a bowl of salad. Looks like my phone decided to stop focusing. There we go, that took long enough. So yeah, I assume that's salad. And then an emoji and a scarf, and then with Diet Coke. Very cute, and then next, um, this is the bean sampler. So this is kind of a freebie and that you have to redeem your bean cards for it. So this is, I guess, a kind of mood check kind of thing. Um, I don't really know what this is about, but I'm assuming you just kind of check off whatever mood you're feeling that time or something like that with these little emoji heads. Um, I love this get crafty emoji right there. And the Instagram one, of course, I may have a full sheet of those. This is an emoji hugging a potato, which is really cute. That's like with a bottle of water. That is a little birdie with a letter that's so cute. And then obviously Utter Chaos, which is my work a lot of the time. And then we have a dot grid sticking out, which is really cool. That's the first time I've seen one of those. So very useful. And then we have the Black Friday $30 and up freebie. So we have this full box that says, I'm just worried if I'm out of focus again. There we go. That says, oops, add to cart, which is so useful for any kind of sales that go on. And there is the emoji with the pile of washi, which is me with a big Simply Gilded order. Then there's a shopping bag and a lot of cash. So this is just kind of like all shopping themed. And then I just wait, did I order this? That's me a lot of the time. I mean, I keep track with the spreadsheet now of what I order, but every now and then, like, one will slip through the cracks. Um, and there's, like, obviously don't have enough money, which is me all the time, and then sale. So very useful for any kind of shopping. So it's very appropriate that that was the Black Friday freebie. And then I guess she included some seals, too, which is new. I don't think I've seen these from her shop before, so it's really cool that these are a freebie. And I love foiled seals so much. I love using them on my envelopes when I send letters. So... Yeah, super duper love these. They're just emojis with either stars or sitting in clouds with washi and a pencil or a planner and then a coffee of some kind or a, just a generic hot drink. So I'll be adding those to my steel collection. Now let's get into the actual order. The I did get one sheet, one big sheet. So this is the Christmas movie Marathon Marquis. So just all the Christmas movies and I always get the with text version because it's a lot easier to have the text already in there than try to write something in like that tiny little space between the emojis. So it's got some of my favorite movies on here, like The Polar Express, Elf, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, 
A Christmas Carol, which I actually just watched with my boyfriend lately. Of course, The Nightmare Before Christmas. And a lot of all these other ones are really good too, but like those are probably my top ones. So I just love this selection here. And now for the smaller sheets. Oopsie, I left one behind here. So a lot of these are just fall and Halloween leftovers. And then I included all of the Christmas ones I wanted too. Just I threw in all the holiday ones because I knew those would be harder to get my hands on when it is past the holidays. So first we have pumpkin spice because of course it's a classic. So just all kinds of pumpkin spice related activities and even I think pumpkin pie there as well. I love just a little pumpkin hat there. And then here we have musical emojis part two. So I probably already have part one, I think. Um, I don't remember what it looks like though, so I can't remember. But this one is just like singing into a microphone and listening to music um, with a radio and then like caroling or singing in some kind of choir. So I do love singing along to music sometimes. So these are super useful for that. Um, gonna try to put all the themed stuff off to the side and just go over generic stuff first. So here we have the fruit ones. I had to get the fruit because not a lot of shops are gonna have just all kinds of different fruits. I'm actually working on a fruit sheet myself that is not a character sheet, it's just the fruits. So this is kind of different in that it is a character sheet. So there's kind of a demand for both, I think. But um, yeah, I just, I wanted a fruit sampler in the meantime before my sheet would be completed. And I just love that she came up with this and all the different fruits that she included, just in case, you know, you want to try a certain fruit for the first time, like a kiwi or a pineapple, if you haven't tried that. I hadn't tried an orange even until like college. So if that was recent, I would have marked that. But yeah, just any of that, or if you're like craving something and you just have it one day, or you're making a recipe with like bananas or strawberries in it, like there you go. And the watermelon is of course a great summertime one, because I always get like a huge, well I get a personal size watermelon in the summertime and I'll just eat that all at once. I'm crazy. Um, that's more holiday. I think the rest of it might actually just be holiday. So, except for these last few at the very bottom. So let me grab those out. Yeah, okay, and then the rest of these are holiday or just otherwise themed. So along with the fruit ones, I also got the veggie ones, which is also a completely unique theme. Um, so I have like tomatoes, bell peppers, carrots. I do love carrots so much. Sweet potatoes, which I also love so much. Normal potatoes, that's the one from the, uh, the sampler too. Um, I'm guessing that is an onion because like the emoji's crying. Um, and then garlic. Lettuce, I think looks like butter lettuce, honestly. Avocado, of course, broccoli, cucumber, which I think is like the biggest waste of a vegetable next to um, celery, which I'm glad I don't see here. That's some other kind of leafy greens. I'm gonna assume that's like spinach. I'm gonna pretend that is because I, I like spinach. And then they all repeat from there. So you get at least two of each emoji on there and then the tomato one is three times so same sort of deal there with how you could use those so then similarly to those two i got the farmer's market one this is the summer farmer's market i don't know if she does ones for different seasons but that this would kind of imply that she does so i'm not sure we will see but yeah i do occasionally stop by the farmer's market just to check it out even though i think it's kind of a scam when it comes to buying produce at least it's still a fun experience to go, and they often sell other stuff that is fun to get and does not feel scammy. And then I got two sets of these half boxes. I was pausing because I thought they were the same thing, but I got them in two different color schemes for some crazy reason. I don't know why. But um, yeah, so these are just half boxes used to denote something that is very sad or something like that. And I guess I thought that sad things happened often enough in my life to justify getting um, 16 of these boxes, but now I have plenty of sad boxes, so I don't have to put in an emoji. It's like, it's already there. So, yep. For all the sad and disappointing stuff that comes up in my life, I am well prepped for that. So that is the end of the normal emojis for this order, or the non-themed, non-seasonal ones. Um, we have one more that is not 
strictly seasonal, but that's the Harry Potter movie marquees. So I do love Helen's movie marquees in general. So I just had to pick up these two. I think I missed the Halloween ones, but next year I'll get those. But I did get the Harry Potter one. So it's really cool is that you can see the kind of photo or the art of the castle in the background. And then these designs are just kind of layered over that. This does look very old style. So the drawings and stuff look more like ones that she drew by hand and scanned into the computer, like how mine used to be. It just, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. I don't know if that's how she started, but that would make sense if that was. But, um, but it's, you know, it's still very cute, and these would be good to mark just watching a Harry Potter movie. You can use all these as deco or just any icon sort of thing. And now for the actual holiday stuff. So, looks like there's one other thing that snuck up in here. I'm not going to go through and, like, organize it by holiday first. I'm just going to kind of go through it one by one. I am seeing some extra normal sheets that got snuck in here somehow. So I am going to pull those out first. I guess there are a lot of those. All right, if there's any others, I'm just going to leave those because I don't want to spend all my time just picking through stuff. So going along with the food theme, I got the chocolate chip cookie emojis because of course I did because this was kind of the sheet I requested or at least the type of sticker I requested. I asked for cookies. Um, I asked for a variety, but she started out with just doing a chocolate chip one, which is fine because um, they are good cookies. They are the most beloved, though I prefer the dough. I'm just weird like that. I prefer chocolate chip cookie dough over any other cookie dough, but I do not like chocolate chip cookies when they're cooked really unless they're like really mushy but yeah these are really just cute to mark any type of cookie eating I don't think I have many cookie stickers at all that aren't like gingerbread so you've got just eating a cookie a plate of cookies cookies and milk and then they all repeat so very cute and then I got these email emojis too I only have one email sheet from any shop and that is the happy day I check emails stickers Sometimes my day is so empty that I have to fill up space, so I usually mark check an email because I do that every day anyway, but um, I wanted to have more variety in how I could mark that instead of just the happy day of stickers, so I got these as well. So some of these are like checking and some of them are more like sending, which is really good because sometimes I'll have to send a really important email for work or something, and I like to mark that too. And then lastly, I got these two Star Wars sheets. So we have May the 4th, part one and two. So that's just a wide variety of characters from the movie, although they are not all represented, obviously. We do have Baby Yoda because that's the most popular thing right now. I actually did a Baby Yoda sticker myself. It's only available in my digital shop right now, so you can go check that out. But um, I really love this Wednesday. It is adorable. And then we have Chewie and Leia. And then one of the, I think that is an Ewok, if I'm not mistaken, that's what it's called, um, which are actually kind of cute, but I remember that movie wasn't super well received, but what's really cute about it is that it's also got BB-8 and a Porg next to it, a really tiny Porg. Why is there no full-size Porg sticker? So many, like, Helen, make that happen, because <laughs> that would be so cute also. Not quite as cute as Baby Yoda, though. And then here we have the more classic characters like Darth Vader, the Stormtrooper, R2-D2, C-3PO. There is no Luke or Han in these, um, in these sheets, though. Just Leia. She's the only actual person that is not, like, completely in the suit on here. But that is Star Wars, because, um, obviously The Mandalorian, although I will not be watching that. Um, I will be watching Rise of Skywalker at some point. I've heard mixed things about that too, but can never have too many Star Wars stickers. I also have uh, mentioned to my boyfriend that we need to marathon those movies because he has only seen like the first three that came out, so he's missing out, so we need to do that. Um, so I'll have plenty of opportunities to use those stickers. So this is obviously taking longer than expected, so I'm going to go kind of fast. So now we have the Home Alone emojis 
just a classic. We have Kevin, the Wet Bandits, and then I think that's Kevin's mom. I'm not really sure, but that's all of them. Probably the first Home Alone stickers I've seen, so that's really cool that are not like kits. Um, and then here you have just generic festive night emojis. So got your holiday sweater, sitting in a cup of hot chocolate, jamming to some tunes, jamming to some Christmas tunes. Very cool. Fall planning emojis, you got your little half box, which is also cut out around the head. So you have more creativity. You could like add wallpaper to the back, right? Or, or like use washi as wallpaper behind that, which would be really cool. We have the fall bucket list. I think this is like a newer version possibly. So I'm not gonna read through everything. You can kind of see what's on it. Super useful. All these stickers are ones you'll find on other sheets, like the farmer's market one. Back to Christmas movies, we have Elf. So we have Buddy the Elf. I can never remember her name. Um, I don't remember his name either, but he's like, I think he's the narrator. And then the phrase cotton-headed mini muggins, which is so funny. I have that as a full box um, foiled coat overlay too. And then we have Christmas working emojis. So they're just little emojis working on their laptops in various Christmas outfits, very cute. Uh, just the Christmas emoji sampler. I may already have this from last year. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I have it now. I only got the brights one because I don't really like pastel Christmas colors at all. Christmas money movie marquees because, of course, you know I love for marquees. You get little popcorns too. So you get this version for any movie that is not on this sheet, and then you get this sheet. These already do have emojis though, so. It's more for something that you would um, you would need to mark that does not have an associated character sticker. Although I suppose you could like cover up that emoji with the character sticker from that specific movie. But like I can imagine that there would be a lot of Christmas movies that don't have um, character stickers associated with them from any shop. So that's what those would be more for. And then you have holiday coffee cups. I do love these colors and I do love me some coffee or tea or hot cocoa or anything so these are really cute and then you have the mugs also for more homemade type drinks i love that kind of peppermint theme right there and these are really cute too they're all cute then holiday baking because i do love holiday baking got your cookies right there cookies and muffins very cute i need to actually do some baking for christmas I got a gingerbread house kit and put it together, but like that's not actual baking. It was already baked. I just decorated it. And then gift wrapping, I did do that this year because we already had Christmas at my parents' house last or two weeks ago when I went and visited them. Then festive planning. So it's like the fall planning, but Christmas version or holidays version, same sort of thing. You get that peppermint drink there too. And let me see if there's anything more Christmas. Nope, the rest is just winter, except for this one random fall one. So I got the fall, like, PSLs, kind of, pumpkin spice lattes. They're, this sheet isn't labeled, but I'm assuming that's kind of what they are. And then the last three are winter sheets. So we have cozy emojis, just bundling up in winter clothes, which I love to do because all my wardrobe is, like, stuff that needs to be layered that I can't wear to work. So whenever I go out, I always, like use most of my wardrobe. It was really fun um, getting to be fancy on dates with all of my all of my layered clothing. And we have of course the onesie on the laptop. And then here is just generic winter emojis too. I kind of got a lot of these to hoard because you know again there's not really snow where I live but yeah so I guess that takes those three out of the park until I visit somewhere that has snow. But of course the um, the drinking a hot drink one will come in handy. And then finally, there is the winter emoji bucket list. You know, only a few of these things I will be able to use, not the sledding or skiing. Slipped on ice would be hilarious to use for when we went ice skating because we both did. Um, and yeah, those, those will not use lost mitten. I don't lose single mittens or gloves. I lose the entire pair at once or it gets holes in it and I have to throw out both of them. I am notorious on that. I'm already on my third pair this year. 
and I'm just I'm just waiting for those to like get holes in them or mysteriously vanish or something. So that is the Coffee Monsters coat, and that is the end of this haul. It actually turned out to be a lot longer than I expected, but that's fine. I can put out a really long haul every now and then. Like this is probably about the length of Viv's hauls, so I'm sure if y'all want to watch, you can still watch, and you know that you can skip around um, with the timestamps. So we good. Um, so yeah, that is it. I will definitely have some content for the next haul coming in soon. Some Black Friday orders still to come in. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be super amazing. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao.